Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at how to find equation of a tangent at a point uh, for a particular curve. So getting straight into this, um, looking at question one here. So what we've got here is we've got y equals x squared. So that is basically the parabola that's colored in red. And we want to find out what's the gradient of the tangent at the point 2, 4. So what do they mean by tangent? So the word tangent basically means is it is this blue line here. It's a line that's actually touching this curve at that point 2, 4. So that's basically what the meaning of tangent is. And now we are asked to find equation of that tangent. So what we're looking for is equation of that straight uh, blue colored line there. Well, it's colored kind of green now, thanks to the highlighter. But so just to refresh your memory, remember that um, equation of a straight line can be written like this. So you've got y minus y1 is equal to m times, sorry, x. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Why can't I get that right? Um, yeah, so you guys should be familiar with this. Now, if you are using uh, y equals mx plus c, that would also work as well, just in a little extra step. So basically, we are going to use this equation to find uh, the equation of the line. So what we have been given, though, is we've actually got our x value of the point, and we also have the y value of the point. Uh, what we don't have is we are currently missing the gradient itself. All right, so we've got to find the gradient. So our first step is finding the gradient when x equals to 2. Now, if you're not familiar with what I'm going to be doing here, have a look at the um, this series itself, this calculus playlist. And there are a couple of videos prior to this uh, video where you'll actually uh, see me talking about finding gradients at any given point. So with that in mind, I'm going to kind of carry on here. So I've got my function which is equal to x squared. So I'm just going to write it as f of x, just because, you know, substituting that x is quite nice when it's f dash of x. So we're going to differentiate this function. When we differentiate this, we are going to get 2x. And now what we need to do is we need to find out what the gradient is when x is equal to 2. All right, so remember that when x equals to 2 is what we're trying to figure out what the gradient is. So we've got 2. Uh, multiplied by 2 and so what we have is the gradient is equal to 4. Now if you remember m is the gradient uh, so in that case we can actually say that m is equal to 4 because when we talk about f of um, f dash of uh, and we put in a number we are actually finding out what the gradient is so we've actually figured out what the m is. The m is equal to 4. So with that in mind our next step then is to find out what the equation of the line is. So we're going to write the equation of the, sorry, not the line, the tangent. So we're going to go y minus y1, and then we've got m, x minus x1. And now we're going to substitute the value. So we're going to get y minus y1 is equal to 4, and then we've got m, which is equal to positive 4, and then we've got x minus x1, which happens to be 2. So just to clarify, I've got the uh, 2 from here, and I've got the 4 from there. And of course, the gradient is equal to 4. So that's what we have here. So let's start expanding and uh, expanding the brackets and rearranging. So we are going to get, uh, we're going to get y minus 4 equals 4x. So we've got to multiply 4 times x and 4 times negative 2. We've got negative 8. And then y is equal to 4x minus 8. And of course, bringing the negative 4 to the other side, it's going to be plus 4. And so our equation of that tangent is going to be 4x minus 4. Okay, so that is basically how we do it if when we're given a point uh, with the x value and the y value. Now we're going to look at a situation where we are given just one x, x value and then see how we actually go about uh, finding the equation of the tangent. All right, so going on to the next question. And once again, I've drawn things there for you guys, so you guys can see what's happening here. Now remember guys, the the graph that I've drawn on the right hand side is it will not be given to you. So it's something that I've just put it in here so that you guys can actually have a look at what's happening. All right, so in this question, what we're given is we are given an equation and then we're given the x value of 3. And what else? We have to figure out what the equation of the tangent is. Now remember, when we're trying to figure out our equation of our tangent, we are always going to write down our equation. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now looking at this, uh, there's only one thing that we actually have. We have just the x1 value, which is the 3 there. 
we don't have the y value and we don't have the gradient so our first step is to try and figure out what the y value is and to figure out what the y value is we're going to substitute x into the original equation so we're going to rewrite this as y is equal to 3 times 3 minus 4 and so we're going to get y is equal to 3 times negative 1 which equals to negative 3 so the coordinate that we're working with is positive 3 and negative 3 and that's something that we can actually see when um, at the point here like in the graph you can actually see that green dot there so now what we have is we actually have y1 because y1 is equal to negative 3 we still need to figure out what the gradient is all right and to figure out what the gradient is we are going to work out we're going to put down f of x and we need to figure out what f dash of x is so when we have f of x we are going to get x multiplied by x minus 4. now to differentiate this we got to get rid of the brackets first so before um before i start differentiating i'm going to expand the brackets and i'm going to write this up as what we've got we've got x squared minus 4x and then I can differentiate it so f dash of x is going to be 2x minus 4 and I also need to figure out what the gradient is at when x equals to 3 so I'm going to put down f dash of 3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 4 which culminates in 6 minus 4 so that's going to give me 2 so as you guys can see my gradient is equal to 2 so I have everything that I need right now to actually figure out what the equation of the tangent is because I've got the x value, the y value, and I've also got the gradient as well. So I'm going to substitute it in. So I've got y minus negative 3 equals m happens to be 2 and then x minus 3. So just to clarify, I'm taking the whole negative 3 uh, from here and of course I've got the positive 3 from here. So once I have that, uh, now I can start uh, simplifying this equation. Now y minus minus 3 is going to become y plus 3 equals, and then I've got to expand the brackets. I've got 2 times x and 2 times negative 3, which is going to be 2x minus 6. And then of course I've got y is equal to 2x minus 6. When the positive 3 comes to the other side, it becomes minus 3. And so my equation of the tangent is going to be 2x minus 9. Now, as you can see, guys, it, it is simply uh, just following a set of procedures, depending on the type of question that you actually get. So anytime you're given a question is, um, you know, write down what it is that you're trying to find out and then look at what it is, uh, what are all the little parts that you need. Like, for example, in this question, I wrote down the equation of the tangent and then I realized I only had one, um, only had the x value. So I needed to find the y value and then I needed to find the gradient. So it's kind of like following those uh, procedures there. All right, cool. So that's basically it for this video, guys. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Um, there should be some videos popping up uh, shortly. Uh, do check them out. Great revision material there. And as always, uh, thank you for watching.